Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome to my two by two base challenge. That's right, I think I've come up with a base design that can withstand an insane nightmare day 7,000 horde max game stage and only occupies a two by two block space area. So without further ado, there she is. Say hello to my little friend. And by little, I mean about 40 blocks tall. Let me give you the quick tour here. So we've dug it down to the stone layer and I've also dropped the ladder down so that if the terrain gets the destroyed, the zombies still should be able to mount the ladder and make their way to the top. Now, of course, this is inspired by Glock9 and his 5x5 challenge, then the 3x3 challenge, but I wanted to see if I could push the envelope even further and just kind of push the limits of what's possible in horde bases within the game. So as you can see around the back, it's just four blocks. These are just ramp shapes and some fancy shapes. I mean, these could just be cubes, I guess, but I wanted it to kind of look a little bit cooler. So the idea for having it this tall is that I want the majority of the horde to be on the ladder at any given time and not all clustered up down here because the more they're clustered up struggling to get onto the ladder the more they're just going to be wreaking havoc to the blocks down there it's going to be bad enough with cops and demos and you know hopefully not too many of those blow up but let me show you how it works up here so we have these 3d trussing blocks here and that will allow us to repair through so let me just get this oriented and um, you, you, when I'm at the top there, we'll be able to repair the 3D trussing block below. And if this one gets knocked out, the zombies will still be able to climb up to the next rung of the ladder. I put these wedge 60s here because I want to be able to bounce grenades down from the top. And this is also our way of getting up. So I should be able to just crouch and squeeze. And eventually I'll pop right straight through there. No problem. And then I jump over to this pole block and that also helps keep the zombies kind of pushed over onto the ladder. And then from here, I can just sort of do a jumping hatch system to get myself up to the top here. Up here, I am defended by spike traps for the birds. I can go ahead and close those and I can open the vault hatch to help guard against cops pit, which I think is probably threat number one, followed by you know, demos and stuff blowing up down at the bottom. So offensively, I am rolling with a perception build and I'm not wearing any armor at all. So we're just wearing the mining helmet here. No armor, it gives me cold resistance so we don't have to deal with the frost overlay and just max points into like perception combat skills. But really, I'm only gonna be using the sniper rifle here with a few mods, AP762 combined with the penetrator perk. And I think that will give us really good target penetration as we shoot down the ladder. So without further ado, let's spin up that day 7,000 horde and just check the console. We're getting a game stage 1,070 horde right now. And you can see him way, way down there starting to climb up onto the ladder. So my strategy here is mostly just go for headshots on all the zombies. Try to hit him in the head, control bursts. We're not trying to do fully automatic M60 fire, although that would probably work just as well. I just don't want a lot of like collateral damage to be uh, like affecting my base integrity. Like if I was shooting with an M60, I might do enough damage to the blocks down there at the bottom that uh, we might break blocks and cause a collapse. And I just want to give them plenty of time to work their way up here so that we know that the majority of the horde is on the ladder. That's really the most important thing. On the ladder, not at the bottom, getting frustrated and beating on the supports. All right, and check this out right here. If I get the nail gun out, I can actually reach down and repair that bottom trussing block, no problem. With this target penetration, sometimes you just, you, you ragged all a whole bunch of them, you stun them, you knock a whole group of zombies down off the ladder. You gotta be careful though, you don't want them to, to fall down too much because then you, they'll go into rage mode and start breaking the base. Also being really careful to find the cops and shoot them in the head. We don't want them to fall down and then explode down at the bottom. And so far I have not seen a demo zombie, so we must be on a wave right now that just doesn't have them. They'll probably be in the next wave. And since I haven't seen very many zombies, let's try a couple of grenades. What I think we can do is just bank them right off of this um, wedge 60 right here, and it should fall down right close to the bottom. Ooh, okay, pop spit, watch out for that. And you know what's also really great about these trussing blocks here is that you can melee through these. So if you just wanted to have one trussing block and use a spear, you can stab right like in this triangular portion and hit the zombies that are down below. Oh, you know what? I just realized I haven't even taken my recog yet. 
Let's try that out. It's going to work even better now. Oh, it's just devastating. I can clear the ladder out with one magazine. All right, just do a quick couple of repairs on that trussing block there. And let's try this. One full magazine. See how far we can clear the ladder. Okay, not as much as I thought. Fat mama down here and bikers soaking up all my bullets. That's better. Okay, two mags, I guess. I was off by one. Just saw a big explosion down there. Not sure if that was a cop or a demo. Trying to reposition the camera to find out. Haven't really seen any demos yet, so probably was a cop after all. Fortunately, with the ladder dug down a couple blocks, they have no problem just mounting the ladder again. Oh, I'm starting to see demos now, though, and we've just ticked over midnight. We're almost halfway through the horde. And yes, we are on a wave that contains demo zombies now. Just gonna try to get headshots on them the best I can, and I'll probably also refrain from the grenades for a little bit, because those can also trigger the demo. I heard a bird. <laughs> he immediately impaled himself on the spikes, though. I think I killed the demo. I'm not sure if that tourist was in the way. I didn't quite see it. I think I heard um, him die and then I saw an orange loot bag fall down. Oh, I'm, I set up a demo down there somewhere. I think, I'm not sure where it was. I think we suffered like a mid ladder blast. So some of the middle ladder blocks might be weakened now. The entire base, though, is made out of solid steel. That's like kind of the one concession. There are portions you could probably make out of concrete and it'd be fine, but the ladder for sure needs to be steel. At least once you get to the demo era. Oh, ow. Okay, that was that was painful. Trying to repair my gun here. Go away. Right. Uh, go ahead and use a first aid kit. Got to recoup some of that health. I'm not wearing any armor, so basically one radiated cop blast could immediately kill me. In fact, let's just close this since we're holding off on grenades. Looking good from up here. Just doing some minor repairs. Nothing significant. Continue with the 762 right straight down the ladder. Okay, stuff is definitely blowing up. I'm getting a little nervous about that right now. I'm kind of thinking maybe just get the zombies on the ladder again, try to clear them out, spread them out a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm hitting cops at the bottom with a couple of bullets and then they're just blowing up down there. Certainly if we were on a wave that was less intense with the radiated cops, I think we'd be faring a lot better. Another demo going off somewhere. That was just right below the position. Very, very close to me. I do think that the ladder is um, still intact, though. Looks good. Oh, that was a direct hit. Crap. Oh, geez. Stunned, infected. Not good. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Okay, kind of, it's feeling like it's coming down to the wire. I'm not sure what the block hit points are looking like down there. But uh, up here, let's see, yep, 50%, just repair that quickly, and keep shooting. It's time to just pour the lead down there as quickly as possible. Uh-oh, look out. He's gonna spit. Ah, oh jeez. I can't even see anything now. I'm occasionally getting sneak damage on some of these zombies, which is just fantastic. All right, I got us a quick subterranean view of the bottom of the base. It's looking really good down there. I think we've been able to mitigate damage down there because most of the cops and demos appear to be exploding on the ladder which is you know in some ways it's preferable in other ways if we get two demo blasts in the same spot it might knock out the ladder and the whole base is ruined after that okay it does appear though that we're on the third wave and so probably there's no demos in this wave and i do have in case you're not familiar with like the terminology i'm using in terms of like waves and duration i do have a video on how hordes work if you want to check that one out Oh boy, that was a huge explosion. I think that was a combination of cop and grenade. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing, just watching them all fall down like that. Love it. Basically, the grenades don't even make it all the way to the bottom before they explode. I have to basically, it's an, an airburst mechanism, basically. I like it. It's working well. It is 3.50 in the morning. We have almost killed the whole horde. Might as well just try and see if we can finish them off. There it is. It is morning. Wow, cleanup is a breeze. When you're killing four or five zombies per bullet, it uh, doesn't take long to work your way through 64 zombies, does it? Okay, at this point, it would appear that the only zombies that are left are like, you know, the ones with no arms and legs and a couple that got stuck in the, the locks. Here, let's just soften all of them up, I guess, with some grenades. Got a handful of dogs and wolves around here too. All right, let's have a look at this. Dog, yep. 
We got a one-legged uh, Darlene there, whatever her name is. And yeah, look at look at how fast they crawl now. Insane nightmare. Like the run speed actually influences how fast they crawl. I love that. What are you what are you doing, Bo? And look at that, folks. They didn't even break a single block other than, you know, snow. They didn't break any of my blocks, we'll put it that way. Oh! <laughs> Look at the tourist over here, eating a cat. Die. And that is it, my friends. The 2x2 two two base challenge complete. Please, please, if you want to try this out, tag me in the video or send me a message on Twitter or something so I know that you've done it. I'd love to see what else is possible in the 2x2 two two confines, you could say. So a special shout out goes to Glock9 for inspiring this type of a challenge. And I have another one that I'm cooking up, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. Take care, everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.